All right, so last year I found this dresser, nice and set for like $20 or something like that. I got it cleaned up and painted it in a flat black. I wanted to use this hardware from Amazon and I wanted to elevate the pieces some, so I removed the existing base and added legs that I also got from Amazon, which is an easy tip if you want to modernize your piece, new legs and hardware are the way to go. It was listed maybe 30 minutes when I got a buyer and she asked if she ever found a nice stand with a similar build. Can I refinish it to match this design so it could be a complete set? Well, fast forward to present day and she hit me up saying she finally found a piece and needed it done like her others. So first we got to work removing the hardware then we need to address this base to be able to add those same legs we have to remove this so let's chop it off i used the level to make sure my line was straight and then i went in with my jigsaw if you're new to furniture flipping jigsaws are at the top of my must-have list they're cheap easy to use and they always come in handy now I have to do something about this former paint job that had to come off if I wanted a smooth finish. Carbide scrapers are great for this, but apparently my blade needs to be replaced. You could strip it off, but stripping is my absolute last resort because I dislike the mess. So I grabbed my orbital sander and an 80 grit and got to work. It's important to end with a higher grit number for a smooth finish. I primed the body, then filled the hardware holes in the drawer, sanded it down, then also primed the drawer. This is the part people will skip, and I understand because I used to too. I didn't feel like it was that big of a deal, but take the extra five minutes to scuff sand in between coats it does make a world of difference i recommend using a 320 grit or above sanding sponge you don't have to break a sweat trying to sand it down just a gentle pass through over the entire piece and you can rub your hand over it before and after you'll notice the difference i typically do two to three light coats regardless if it says it's one coat coverage i only needed two here once dried i used a small painter's brush to touch up the top and side edges of the drawer where the paint gun couldn't reach Alrighty, for top coat i used water-based polyurethane now i said this was the perfect demonstration of why you need to use a paint strainer you don't want this gunk clogging your gun another super light scuff sanding then i adjust my gun air power all the way down to a two i like to apply several coats in this fine mist when i'm dealing with black or dark colors in general i'm careful because i don't want to get that cloudy hazy look that top coat can often give now i need to add that same hardware that i got from amazon when the sun's going up that sun it looks like mad yellow outside hold up 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 There was a small gap where I needed to screw in the leg to my nightstand, so I pulled from my scrap wood pile and found the perfect fit. This also was a reason to test out my new pocket hole jig, which I am so excited about. I secured those boards with wood glue and pocket hole screws, then I attached the legs to that. Now for the hardware that we previously used, this is actually one of my favorites from Amazon. We measure the drawer's width, and then we measure the drawer's height. And then with this information, we pull out our cabinet hardware jig, which is great for drilling precise and even hardware holes. To find your center, you divide both the width and height by two. The height is then plugged into that vertical part of the jig and then you grab whatever drill bit works for your size screw take a pencil and mark the top of your drawer with the center width number there's a tiny groove on the back of your jig line it up with your marking but please don't be like me and forget that you're using pulls and not knobs so you shouldn't have a center hole oh nobody's gonna know they're gonna know how would they know so what I forgot to do was measure the distance between my hardware holes, divide that by two, and then plug that on both sides of the jig's horizontal piece. And then you're ready to drill for new hardware holes. Once you wrap up hardware, you're pretty much done. I do like to give my piece one last good cleaning to catch any of that dust from sanding and painting. It's also a good idea to freshen up your drawers with some furniture oil. Grab a few household items for staging picks and make sure you're taking some before footage. You're gonna need it when it comes time to creating content. Y'all know that's priority. So when you're looking for furniture, it's okay if you have mismatched pieces, just do a good job designing them the same and most people are just as happy. After not flipping furniture for a month, this was a super easy project to get back into the swing of things. On to the next one. Okay, bye.